all know that the problem of fakes and forgery in the art world is real, it's systemic, it's getting worse, and it has a huge impact. The fundamental problem is the lack of transparency and the lack of reliable information. Without standards, there's no interoperability and there's no means to solve a systemic problem. And this is about standards supporting innovation. The solution is a small, highly advanced, secure, zero impact label, which can be permanently affixed to works of art and mark the object on a molecular level, essentially embedding in an invisible safe way a vehicle identification number for works of art. We are greatly and deeply involved in this primarily because in addition to being a PhD granting research university, we also consider ourselves as being an urban university. We have a very strong obligation to work in partnership with others to come up with solutions to complex problems. And I think the problem and the opportunity, the ecosystem that Larry has described to us a few moments ago is a good example of why and how you can use the expertise of a public research university to develop the standards uh, for this new ecosystem, but as well as developing multiple ways of approaching the process of tagging uh, for authentication purposes. And we like to talk about the city of Albany and the State University of New York being in the center of everywhere, in the middle of everything. And we're so glad to be in the middle of this new ecosystem around art authentication. This all starts with the artists who are prepared to change the way they create art from implementing from a studio practice standpoint ways to protect their art, their legacy, society's cultural legacy. And without the artist saying, we are prepared to do this because we know we need to, nothing really matters. Yeah, so from a personal standpoint, when I was approached to participate in this project, I one, because I'd had this direct experience with uh, forgeries, I was uh, immediately interested in it. Uh, the other reason I was interested in it was from the standpoint of an, an artist getting on in years and starting to think about uh, legacies and about estate planning and stuff like that. Operating almost like a digital fingerprint, digital sort of memory in a sense to a work, which I think is truly fascinating because you can actually plot the sort of the, you know, the sort of the journey of that artwork in a way. Having access to the history of all of the records of the object would be a huge advance for our field. As the financial stakes get higher and higher, then the forgeries get more and more sophisticated, making our job harder and harder. Solutions we're talking about today that are standards-based, systemic, based on leading science and technology and information utilities that can actually make this work are really designed to solve the immediate problems of the artists today and tomorrow, as well as the problems that we know the art world will otherwise experience decades and centuries from now.